So version 1.3 of the Ranged Combat Lab has just released and in this tutorial I'll quickly show you how you can use it. So the main thing I added is basically that now you can add ranged weapons to any game object. So if I quickly hit play here, you can see that I added some weapons to these turrets and I now automatically fire them and shoot at this blue sphere here. Now, you can obviously use this not only for turrets, but also robots, tanks, airplanes, ships, uh, whatever you can think of really. You can just put the weapon on any game object and then have it automatically fire, or you could also control when it fires um, in your own custom scripts and use it, for example, for enemy AI. Now, there's just a few simple steps or a few simple scripts that you need to add uh, in order for this to work. The first one is going to be the inventory script. Basically, you just need a place to store the abilities, uh, the ranged abilities that you want to fire. Now, the player uses the inventory of type player, but if you want to use it on a custom game object, then you just set it to custom. And all you really need to set here is the weapon hotbar. You're just going to hit plus, and then let's select, for example, the rifle ability. I already made one specifically for the turrets. Uh, this is really just a normal ability, simple weapon, and then there's a turret rifle in there. Okay, so the next script you're going to add is a combat script. And again, we're going to use this on custom, and it's really simple. You just uh, set what is target, for example, to what is player, or whatever you want to target. And then the attack points, you can see with this turret, for example, I have the barrel and then I have an attack point here in front. And it's kind of important that the attack point is in the air. Uh, if it's stuck in the barrel, the bullet is just going to explode in the barrel. So put it a bit in front in the air and then it's just and then it's going to work just fine. So then you can drag this attack point into the attack point slot. And the last thing, or at least for the combat logic, the last thing you need to add is the ability player. Uh, there's no settings that you need to uh, change here. It's really just this ability player basically handles the playing of the ability. So the custom inventory is going to use the ability player uh, to play the ability and the ability player is then going to tell the combat script to fire the weapon. Because sometimes abilities uh, can have more than one weapon. And now if you hit play, um, still nothing is going to happen. Because right now all of the combat logic is set up but there's no input, right? And usually you would have the player input script, uh, this one right here. But since it's not a player and you don't want to control it with your keyboard, uh, you can actually use the automatic input script. It's called automatic input and I usually drag it on top. And now the, the way it works is you have these input patterns and you can just add a new one. Primary fire is currently the only option. And then you can just add a delay. So for example, let's say it should shoot every one second. And then it's automatically going to connect to the inventory. And you can now see that the turret shoots in a one second interval um, just at the wall. It's currently not aiming. Then if you do want, uh, if you do want it to aim at something, uh, then I also implemented this with the auto aim script. This is one that actually has been used for the projectiles earlier, but now it also works for the turrets and similar things. Okay, so what you need to set here is really just the aim transform. Uh, this is going to be the barrel, so the thing that should rotate towards the enemy. And then you want to set what is target. And now I quickly need to check. This is in the what is uh, player layer mask. So we're going to set the target to what is player. <coughs> And now there's also some settings about uh, the angles and you can go through this in more detail, but it's not that complicated. I'll just leave it like this for now. And you can now see that the turret is rotating at the player and shooting at him. Okay, and now again, because this is all set up correctly, you can easily change the weapons. So for example, I could uh, take the rockets. <laughs> I can't write. Uh, the rocket launcher and now it's shooting rockets at the player 
Or I could also take the shotgun, for example. And you can now see it's shooting the entire shotgun. So basically, it's really simple. You can add any ranged weapon to any game object. And all you need to do is add an inventory script, a combat script, an ability player script, um, an automatic input script, and then, if you want to, an auto-aim script. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Thanks so much for your support.